What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Crown Takers. I'm happy to have you here today as we go through and continue our, I think it was our bummy run. I think that's what we were working on last, yeah. We had wiped out the Black Knight to get ourselves some extra XP. I'm wondering if skipping the bosses in all of my previous runs has had that side effect of leaving me under leveled. Got a dead body lying against a wall. It's smelly and the entire room reeks. Let's inspect it. Oh good. It looks like he had some tools on him. He died holding his tool. Well, he died like he lived, I suppose. I can't blame him for that. I guess if I could go out that way, that's the way that I go out too. One last hurrah, if you will. I'm gonna get up in here and let's see if we can solve this guy. Solve him like a nasty equation. And unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to use a stealth potion to dig myself out right now. I wish that I had taken the disguise or whatever. It would make my life easier. Oh, shit. Okay, well, she's going to be invisible for the rest of the fight anyway, so who cares? Doesn't even... She dodged an attack from an invisible enemy? He must be fairly talented. Better have good reflex times or something. I actually think I can make this work. So if I send Melek down to here, and I have him be like, Whoopla! And I smack this guy on his armored shield. Then what I think I can do is go like this. Yeah! Oh, my God. You can build a bridge of pain. Or build a bridge of battery. There we go. I like that better. Build a bridge of battery. That one's got a lot more alliteration going for it. And I always feel like that's the strongest point. Is you got to make sure that alliteratively it's strong. On this side, he could still screw me pretty badly if he decides to like relocate to here. Or he could do precisely what I want him to do and just keep attacking somebody that's right in front of him. That works too. I mean, no complaints from me. Is it just me, or does there seem to be like a lot of HP creep in this game? It's like you go from one zone to the next, and then all of a sudden everybody has like a million HP. Uh, I'm not going to do that with Melek just yet. Can she throw three? No, she cannot. Disappointing, to say the least. I'll go ahead and put that right there on this side. Let's go ahead and triple... No! We'll triple strike that, as opposed to the triple sec that we normally do. That's his other special ability, is triple sec. It allows him to get super, super hammered in a short amount of time. I knew that was going to happen. How did I know that was going to happen right there? I was like, he's going to dodge it. Every time I'm in this situation, they dodge it. A double dodge with 90% chance. Th those numbers cannot be reflected accurately. It happens way too much. There is simply no way that that is an accurate appraisal of your hit chance in this game. He just dodged three attacks in a row at 90% chance. I don't buy it. I don't buy it for a second. And now Melek's going to die. Maybe. It could happen. Please don't miss. Oh my god. Well, at least it worked in our favor, I guess. There we go. We finally accomplished the thing we've been trying to accomplish the entire run. There it is. We finally finished it off. I accept. I accept. We got a tier 2 rune, which I don't think is any good. Oh, 15% critical. Okay, so I guess the symbol on it's the same. I was going by the symbol on the front and assuming that there was like some difference in the symbol on the front if it did a different thing. So, let's use a wine potion on him. There we go. I don't know if wine heals me. It mostly just gets me drunk, but there you go. Drunk, healed. It's all the same thing. Call it what you will. A deserted mine. Hooray. I was in I was in the mood for some mousse or perhaps like a lava cake or something. We rest here. Oh, good. That's really, really good for us. That actually is super stellar because we needed that to happen. I wonder if the 10% penalty is applied to the mouse over effect that you get. That might be where the confusion's coming from. It's because when I mouse over the enemy, it says like 85%, 90%. But I wonder if it's applying the 10% minus afterwards. Like, that's what... If, if that's the case, then yes, that makes a bit more sense why I would be missing out on so many of these random little hits along the way. Let's go ahead and talk to a waitress. If she has more healing items, I will love her plenty, but unfortunately, no love today. No loving today. Let's sell off this big old stack of tools. And actually, this might be the point in our adventure where we want to start retrofitting and adding some extra weapon runes and things. A singing contest. As I recall, Zoe can sing. Yeah, and so there it is. And so Zoe manages to silence the crowd and win the contest. So there's a little bit of extra gold, too, to help us on our way. With the merchant, let's see what we can get our hands on here. We've got silver, which means we could do a second weapon upgrade on somebody. I accept that as an option. We've also got a belt right there. Okay, and then we've got reduce incoming damage by one. Unfortunately, the options for... Well, what do I want to do this with? So we've got... 
a cooldown reduction and a crit chance. His crit chance is already really, really high. So I think adding to that and just making it even more high is probably a reasonably decent idea. His sword has taken on some kind of like elvish look. It's definitely got like an elvish Draenei type thing going on to it now. I don't know, it got all lithe and like well crafted like overnight all of a sudden. Since our main character, well I tend to use Darien as my frontline bruiser so I suppose I'll upgrade him twice. And... I guess I'll go with the incoming damage reduction. I guess. I thought we had a different... Maybe I sold it. That might be the problem here. I may have sold off the rune that I'm thinking about. And so with the merchant... Do I have anything else left that I could throw around? I do not. But I'm willing to bet I could probably upgrade somebody's armor. There we go. So we'll reduce her damage by one. He has not been upgraded yet either. Unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. But we'll deal with that later. There's big spiders in here. We'll get rid of them. Okay, and so now we can safely search. So we got ourselves a book. Read it real fast because we're getting rid of it. We'll sell that off yet again. This may actually turn into one of the most fruitful runs we've ever had. I may also buy some strength potions because we've got AP and I figure, eh, why not? Got one lockpick. Everything else is looking pretty good. I kind of wish I had stocked up on more potions the last time we had run through the location, but we'll make it work. We will make it work. Can you make that throw right there? You cannot, unfortunately. Okay, well. Let's sunder off some armor then, or, you know, get counterattacked or whatever it is that we do around here. Okay, so his armor is now completely gone. What the hell is that? I've never seen that guy before. Well, at least he could be damaged from the front. That's good. I mean, it could be a lot worse. I thought he was going to have the same ability as... I thought they were going to do that thing that, like, old beat-em-up arcade games would do, where, like, as you side-scrolled along, as you got to the later levels, the bosses from previous levels then just started being, like, normal guys that you would fight. You know, like, back in the day with games like Streets of Rage, which, by the way, Streets of Rage 2 was my shit when I was a kid. I think I've beaten that game, like, 400 times. No joke. I'm fairly positive I've beaten that game at least a couple dozen times. I mean, that was pretty much what my cousin and I did all summer when we were kids. We just, like, played Streets of Rage all summer, basically. We do have an option right here. One that presents itself. Since he's got armor and he's got armor, if I can kill this guy... There we go. So that leaves him with two attacks for this bloke. And so there it is. That allows him to be ready for termination on the next turn. Although that sounds nice and threatening. That sounds like the sort of thing that you wouldn't want to say to like your cell phone while you're at the bus station. You'd be like, yeah, that guy's ready for termination. I'd be like, whoa! Oh, he heals people. That's no bueno. I mean, on the plus side, it looks like he really has no regard for his own safety. And so he's just going to run around and allow me to DPS people, which... I will accept as a privilege of my position. Throw that out. Maybe hoping that we will get a kill here. Probably not with Melek though. I'm probably going to have to have the main character come help. If Melek's going to double shot him I think. Here let's try. Let's give him the old 1-2 mace upside the head. Mace, mace, mace. Oh man you still messed it up. You still messed it up. I guess he'll take another attack of opportunity because... I guess this is beat up Darien Day. Darien Day? That totally sounds like an actor's name. Actor Darien Day was seen in downtown Los Angeles. That totally does. Doesn't that sound like a fake rock star name? Like every now and again, rock stars just give themselves fake names. It totally does. Darien Day. Because they don't like their original name. I don't know if I could ever abandon my name. I like my name. I'm a fan. Hmm. I may have made a mistake here, but I'm going to rectify it the best that I can. Why did... <laughs> uh, Overwatch. Overwatch! What happened? What happened right here? Did we just decide we weren't going to do that today? Like, eh, you know. I think I'm okay with just totally shirking my abilities for now. All that I can hope at this point is that there's not, like, a third guy here somewhere. So let's go ahead and trap him in, I guess. I have a way to dig her out, but I'd rather save it for later. I suppose that's kind of a precarious... That's not a very nice thing to say. I suppose that's... For North American slang, digging somebody out is actually fairly offensive. So I probably shouldn't word it that way. But I, I just... I, she's like in a ditch right now. And we gotta dig her out of the ditch. That's what I mean. I don't mean it in like the filthy, disgusting way from the early 90s. 
I mean, a lot of a lot of my viewers probably weren't there. So, you know, for the most part, I'm assuming that it's probably going to be like, shoop. But, you know, there will be those people out there who are like, eh, he said dig her out. And so, you know, I did what I could. I did what I could. I'm actually going to try and have Zoe get the kill right here if she can manage it. And it appears as though she cannot. Her management skills are being firmly called into question right now. There is still another enemy? Okay, I was gonna say, there cannot possibly be more enemies around, can there? We've killed a lot of guys on this map. I mean, we are going through just committing absolute murder side here. Murder side? Is that the same thing? Murder side sounds like the name of like a... Murder side definitely sounds like the title of some random black metal album from the late 80s. Like, this is Murder Side by Burzum. It, it just does. It sounds like the sort of thing that Varg Vakarines would try and throw on the front of an album somewhere. Not the nicest human being, that Varg Vicarides. Not the sort of person you want to stand next to for long periods of time. He seems like he might be under the threat of a drive-by for most of his life. I'm like, eh, don't stand too close to me, Varg Vicarides. You have controversial opinions, and I am afraid of being near you. What the hell is that? It's like a wizard? We got all kinds of weird stuff happening nowadays. I need somebody to be in here so that I can use the boomerang better. Even though I can't really do anything with it for right now. Hmm. Oh, good. Our rage character has once again started out five inches from the enemy. What does he do? Wind wall blocks the way for one turn. That could be kind of useful. It looks like he also benefits from a very massive range. Oh, he's a wind mage. An aeromancer. That's interesting. Or a pneumomancer. I don't really know how you want to put it. I don't know if I would call him a Numomancer. Numomancer is hard to say. Numomancer sounds like you might be at any moment somebody be run. I mean, if I was a Numomancer, every five seconds I'd be like, my my I'd be running around all that. That song gets stuck in my head so bad. That song, I don't even like that song, and it gets stuck in my head every single time I hear it. And I'm just like, damn it. Damn it, Numa Numa. I suppose I'll get down here and try and be as heroic as I can. I think she may just have to suffer a counterattack right now. Yeah, she might just have to take it, unfortunately. Because I need her up out of the way. Here, get your revenge. You can throw a bomb at him for a lot of damage, actually. On this side, I don't know what I want to do with Darien. I suppose I'll go for a kill over here with Zoe. And unfortunately, she is just going to underperform like crazy. So I'm left in a rather unfortunate situation here. I guess I'll beat up on this mage a little bit then, I guess. I really wish Darian could attack two spaces. Like, if he can attack two spaces if there's someone right in front of him, why can't he attack two spaces when there's no person in front of him? Doesn't it stand to reason that that logically makes no sense? <laughs> I'm not trying to be a dick right now, I'm just throwing it out there. I think I'm gonna go for it right here. And I suppose the best that I can do right now is just to protect her. I was going to protect the main character, but her HP is a lot lower. So I'd rather keep her from harm, just in case this mage decides to try some gangster shit and annihilate my character. Whoa! Teleportational effects! Okay. Alright, that's slightly horrifying and terrifying. We've got some witchcraft. We got some shenanigans taking place, some definite terrifying phenomena. On, and then he ran right back to where he was in the first place. He's like, "Damn it, wizard! Why? Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? I was tactically in the place that I wanted to be, and you have now drugged me away from the spot where I wanted to be situated. Why? Why? Why?" I'm gonna move him over to here, and then we're just gonna get at that armor. On this side, I'll probably just have him finish off the archer. That should leave him enough AP to start moving around slightly, but I'll put her right here. Bounce that boomerang around a little bit. That sounds like one of those goofy hip-hop songs that came out like at the dawn of hip-hop, where everything was still like jocular. Everything was still like funny, you know what I mean? And so, like, bounce the boomerang. I don't know. 
Be like, move your ass, shake that thing. Everybody bounce that boomerang. You know, it just sounds like, I don't know. Don't judge me, these are the things that I think about. Is that my final foe? Oh good, my final foe has been defy added. And so that leaves us with a new mercenary. So at least we accomplished that. That's pretty cool. Now, who's wearing the dunce cap now, teacher? All right, let's be on our way. If I understood your story correctly, there is no time to lose. And since there's nothing else to do, that the barbarian chief. I call him Big Chief for short. Well, we have no penalty and we have no bonus. I have no idea what this guy does on top of our no bonus and no penalty. So there's a lot of no's going on right now. I think I will take my chances and use a big heal on her right now, even though I shouldn't. At which point, we will step forward and let's give this guy an attempt. I don't know what to expect from him. A group of bulky men is walking towards you swiftly. The massive weapons they are holding look somehow primitive, but don't be fooled. The bloodstains that cover them tell you that they are perfectly able to crush and destroy their targets. Crawl destroy you! Then Crawl take shiny things on you! Crawl hit you! You can see that his motivation is one purely of pugil of the pugilistic sense. See, this is what I'm talking about right here, developer. Why? Why? Like, why do you do this to me? Look at this. Why? Oh my god, why? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start your main character right next to the bulk of their forces because I know that's going to make you love me that much more. Oh my god, why? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that has killed us right there. I, I'm not going to say 100%, but they started not only that, but they started out my character with the lowest HP right there, which is super special in a number of various and wonderful ways. I think I'm just going to extricate. I mean, I suppose I could get started right here. I don't know if this is a thing that I want to do right now. I would like that armor to go away. And so that's what I'm thinking at the moment. And then having her run like hell, I may actually have to sacrifice her for this. It's not a plan that I feel super strongly about. It's a plan that makes me feel emotions and copious qualities. Oh no, we have a stealth potion. Yay! I thought we were out. I totally thought we were out of stealth potions. Okay. Well then. Let's throw some bombas around. That was not what I planned to happen right there. Hmm. There we go. Wow. Krull is able to move. That guy got some legs on him. Crow's got some wheels. Wow. Unfortunately, Crow does not have a strong chin on him, so I think we may have Crow stacked. I think we've got a nice little sort of death matrix going on over here that I think is going to benefit us. Over here, Zoe's going to get pinned down, which is unfortunate, but it keeps this asshole from stacking up on us over here, so I'll take it. Let's wipe out Crow. Crawl, die. I actually don't even know if I need. What's my hit chance right now? Just out of curiosity, 85%. Let's see if we can deal with Crawl right now. I would prefer that Crawl go away on this turn. And if I can make that happen, God help me, I'm going to make that happen. Okay, so that's been handled. Over here on this side, actually, that's going to be kind of a waste because he's got armor up. So, actually, maybe. Let me see what I could do here. Yeah, we can make this work. Yes! Oh, the maniacal cackle of a man who has just landed the perfect crit. No! How dare you counterattack me? I've never done anything but sell the finest wares on that counter. Not once in my life. Oh, he's stunned? Balls. They're both stunned. This becomes problematic. This means that I have, like, really one opportunity to solve this issue. And if she misses, that's that. Luckily, she did not miss. And so, seeing as she was quite potent in her killing blow... Well, not that one. Okay, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. 
My tongue got ahead of my teeth, unfortunately. Did he just regenerate armor? Oh, you cheeky little bastard. No! How long do they stay stunned for? Like, how long is that a thing? It actually seems like that is a problem for quite a while. Since she's attacking from behind, please don't fail me. Oh my god, you failed me. I asked you to do one simple thing, and that was to not fail me. And you did it anyways. You done it anyways. Why? Why? Alright. Operation Keep My One Person Alive as a go. Bomb! No! Oh my god, this game. Why? Oh, you upset me so much, Crown Takers. You upset me so much. And he regenerates armor. He's gonna kill Melek. Oh my god, Melek lived! Please don't miss. Hooray! I'm not even- I don't even know if I'm excited about that fight. Like, it just seemed like the whole thing was kind of terrible. I mean, we did progression on a run where I wasn't expecting to do progression, so that's good. Got a little bit further, I'll take it. Ah, another shitty level up for her. That's great. Just what I always wanted, another worthless level up. Alright, so we're out of restorative items for the first time in, like, ever. We are finally out of restorative items. Let's go to step seven. The Erisic Plains. Is this the final place that we hang out? It seems kind of windy here. It's got that unpleasant, noisy wind sound. So you're picking up in the rubble, you find the head of a statue depicting a fawn. Much to your surprise, it starts talking. You found out that it was part of an ancient magic statue that was supposed to bring luck to its owners. I'll take it! You cram the head into your backpack and resume searching the place. I guess that later on we might come across an event where we can be like, Ooh, they put antlers on top of their building. That's edgy. I like it while well, it's pointy. It's not edgy, it's pointy. Oh, we can sell it? Hmm. I'm tempted. I am tempted. I will... We have a lot of cash right now. We need to make this work for us. Hold on. Let me see what's going on here. What does the waitress have for me? Bread. Oh, good. We got more restoratives. That makes me pretty happy. Additionally, since everybody's missing like one health, I'm just going to rent a room. And that should allow us to get at least all of our other characters that we don't want to waste major healing items on back up to full health. I hate battlefields. They're boring. They stink and we're freezing. <laughs> I can see that you're the cautious optimist of the group. Juggling. Who does juggling? Pretty sure juggling is... I don't know. Let's give it a go. We've got money. Valana is so dexterous that the Trabadour simply doesn't stand a chance. So there it is. Earned a little bit of our cash back. Over here, I think I'm probably just going to sell the head and then we'll use it later. I'd rather trade it out for some gold right now or something. And then maybe like two of those, possibly. That sounds pretty good. I think the main character gets something if we take him up to level 3 with his weapon. I think. Maybe. I can't remember, but that's what's going to happen, so. There it is. I guess I'll give him... No! No, no, no. Well, I'll swap somebody else out. Hold on. There we go. I'll give him the strength one. There it is. So now he's ready to roll. That sword's looking pretty dope right there. That sword's ready to roll. Or I guess it's ready to thrust. I've got to upgrade two people's armor. I think I'll start with you, because you're always in the front lines getting hit. And I'm going to reduce your damage. And then with you, actually I need a gold to upgrade his armor a little bit further. Well, fine then. I didn't want to upgrade him anyways. She can have... is that a dodge rune? Yeah, we'll give her 10% more dodge. There we go. I think it's where you get the main character's dodge up that levels up his next tier, but I can't remember. So I'm just going to let it go. A Salar. Darian loses 1 HP because there's a booby trap. Oh, the Thief Master's here. What's up, Thief Master? Thief Master's the dude. Thief Master knows what's up. He's got two of the same rune, though. That's unfortunate. But he does have some pretty good runes over on the other side. Like, I could give somebody some insane armor before we go much further. Wow. Well, then. I may do just that. Back to the Blacksmith! Instead of back in black, it's back in the blacksmith. It's it's a medieval rendition of ACDC, but it's one that I think performs competently. Let's go ahead and swap that out. And we'll swap that out. And so now we should have the killiest bastard known to man in our party. Then on this side, I will give him another armor so that he has two. Because that gives him a whole lot of room to maneuver. 
when it comes to like not dying and things of that nature. I'm gonna reduce her damage damage by two. What's that do? Ten percent dodge. Okay. I'm happy with our configuration right now. I actually think we're probably in a pretty good spot to maybe even finish the game. I don't know. This started out as a bum run, but I'm not really sure if that's how it's going to end. Got a bunch of fights over here. Let me check everybody's status. We got two healing items, so I'm not really that concerned about throwing myself into melee again. However, it could happen. Okay. So our configuration on this battlefield isn't so bad. I don't mind where we're at. I believe actually I can make this work a lot better if I put him right there there we go oh it didn't work it's supposed to go in between adjacencies but I think it's got a maximum amount of distance it can travel weak okay we've got the Healy asshole down here unfortunately so we're gonna have to deal with him in just a second Let me go ahead and beat off some shields over here. Shields looking all excited off in the corner. I'm like, yay! I knew this day would come eventually. There we go. And so the shield has been removed. We'll go for some critical damage over here, although I don't really think that it's going to work that way. On this side, I'm going to go for a triple strike because I would like to kill him on this turn. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I would like for it to. He's unfortunately going to dodge and counterattack, which is going to end that strategy. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Darian, don't let me down. And that leaves him able to go down to here and block off the archer from doing anything shenanigan-y. I think he's just going to hang tight and double strike. Oh, no, he's not. It sounds like a slogan you would find on like a D&D &D shirt. Hang tight and double strike. I don't know. See, I got ideas, man. I got ideas. They come out from every... Why would you do that right there? I mean, you just did me a massive, massive favor by lining that up twice. Like, really. The amount of favoritism you just showed me was just like, yay! My enemies want to die, too. They don't even care about their own safety. On this side, I'm going to swoop around from behind. And get him with the back stabbies. All right. I mean, he's got a lot of health, so unfortunately taking him out inside the duration of this turn was seeming kind of unlikely to begin with. I'm going to get a 7 damage critical right there. I think I may just kind of keep on cooking right here with the boomerang, because if we can kill him off with ranged attacks, that allows me to move other people around slightly and also resituate the eagle for one turn. Darian, 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 Darian. What do I want to do with Darian? Let's set up a kill zone on this guy. I think that's what sounds good to me right now. And Melek can actually move himself adjacent on the first turn. But with a speed potion, we could actually get him in behind this mob a little bit better. There it is. Very, very nice. Very, very nice, Melek. You are the dude. You are the guy. You are the friend. You are the pal. All other Canadian modifiers that I can add. Out for a rip, are you, bud? You know what I mean. Just out for a rip. <laughs> that video still makes me laugh, like, every time I watch it. I'm not even from Canada. But for whatever reason, it's a funny video. Out for a rip. Going out for a rip. About the town. Let's go ahead, about the town, I guess. It's kind of different, I don't know. Maybe it's a regional thing. Never been to Canada. I'd like to go my neighbor to the north. I would like to hang out with you for a little while. Unfortunately, I've never made it up that way. More strength to her. Strength to her. I'll give you, I guess, health. Because I like, oh good, we've got him maxed out. we got a couple of maxed out people right now. And these characters were all sort of on the back end of leveling up. I'm, I'm sorry, they were on the front half of leveling up. So I'm pretty stoked about the fact that they're almost done. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in part three of our bum run, which has actually turned into a very, very strange progression run. I will see you all next time. Take care out there, buddy, and I do.